Teach Me Grappling here with the Omoplata Part 3, the re-roll. Uh, we're getting into the Omoplata, and then when we sit up here, uh, we want to hold the waist. We want to fold our leg right here and then uh, get our left foot posted behind us in this case. My right hand's holding the waist. I'd like to stop him from rolling, but uh, a lot of guys are able to roll a little quicker than you can hold them, or maybe they peel your wrist back and, and, and hit the roll. If they do roll and you let them go, then you're going to have to get up on top, try to take side control, or at least get the sweep in general. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-roll and then end up on top. So when I do this, I'm going to catch the arm with my right hand, uh, just as I did. I'm going to show it again. So when we're here, the way you want this to be done, when the guy rolls, he's rolling over his left shoulder. I'm going to roll over my right shoulder. So my head looks to my left. I'm still holding his waist as best I can. I never let go. And then I cleanly roll, a forward roll over my right shoulder. And uh, normally I want to catch the arm, but again, just to show it again, I'm holding the waist nice and tight. What I'd like to have is underneath that arm, so we want to catch that on the roll. So my left hand's on the wrist. As I raise up, he rolls, I roll, and I catch the arm. Okay, once you control the arm, you want to make sure you don't let it go. Okay, otherwise he's going to keep moving. And uh, he's sitting on his butt right now, so I'd like to keep him there for the time being. I'm going to use pressure with my right leg right here like this. See my right hamstring? My left foot's going to scoop my hip away, and that's going to drop him down on what I call a bad hip, putting him on his bad hip. So now with my right hand, I'd like to control the shoulder. Okay, you can hug it with two hands, or you're going to keep your left hand on the wrist. Uh, I usually keep my left hand on the wrist, but they're, they're both good. You can hold like that and do it with your hips, or you can do it with your hand. So, again, we'll show you this again. I'm, I'm going to get into a basic homoplata. Close guard, hips out, left foot in the hip, knees together. Right leg passes over. Right hand grabs around the waist as I sit up. I want to go 45 degrees, but he rolls. I re-roll with him, catching the arm. Okay, again, either the shoulder or the arm. Uh, usually I like to transfer the shoulder, move my hip away. That breaks him down, puts him in a beautiful position to finish. Right leg folds, and hips go up and get the tap. See how he's put in his bad hip just as if you were to uh, uh, break him down. Uh, like in the previous video, I showed the breakdown. This this nicely puts him in that position. Again, he rolls. I re-roll. Catch the arm. I'll let the uh, partner get up. Practice the re-roll again. Roll again. Get up. He rolls again. I re-roll. Just like that. Uh, you can get a lot of reps in and practice. Okay, here's a little bit extra right here I wanted to show. Uh, come up, finish the omoplata. You also have a wrist lock there. There's many more techniques. Um, I can also grip the arm, drive the elbow and the ribs for a little bit more pain. All right, teach me grappling. Good luck.